Hello everyone, it's Charlton. So we're going to go over this one more time, again. Um, and I'd say I'm pretty close with this one here. I'm pretty close. I keep getting closer and closer, and I'm pretty, pretty close. And this is the most shocking of all. <sighs> yeah, it's, um, you know, it's like what I never wanted to think. The one... <laughs> The one, the one comment that I routinely got moist, most had the least patience for, which I'll mention, you know, within a few moments in the in this video, that I really disregarded every single time I saw the comment. I was I just didn't even pay it any mind. So, but let me just take care of some housekeeping real quickly uh, before I go, um, and before I get into to the de to some of the details. And again, just like before, it's going to be messy, and I don't have every last thing worked out. You know why? Because I wasn't there. Because I didn't come up with this plan. Whoever did, they do. Okay, they know every single thing. You know, and that that also makes it that also makes it extremely easy to debunk. Uh, everybody else's theory, and there's not that many other theories, you know, uh, other than the people that are that are behind this on YouTube. Most people on YouTube making videos about this are are as a, as crazy as that sound are absolutely involved, and uh, you know this is all about money and drugs, and it's probably one of the most cold blooded crimes, you know, ever. It's big. It's really bad. Um. But yeah, it's real easy to debunk, you know, the things, the various aspects of somebody's uh, uh, idea or theory if you know what happened, you know. You could just pick out the things that are wrong and 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 just tear apart that because you know what really happened, you know? And then don't don't talk about the things that are right because they're right. So, um, but just just for you know, and this, I mean, yesterday's video was so many different pieces. I'm hoping to just do this in one full one. I really do. Um, and I'm going to try not to stop because I think it messes up the quality of the video. But this video, when you replay it, on the replay, even just even by itself, stand alone, not putting it with clips together, it just doesn't show up as well. The, cl the, the glitch, the first glitch. I think on the third one it does. But by that time you've already, I'm just letting you know that if you go and watch this by yourself, the ABC, and this is this is even a replay, you know. Um, you can see the glitch a lot better. And this is about the glitch from the door, you know, as the, this is the leaked footage, the leaked footage of the video of the double doors with the crime scene tape on it. Obviously, it's right there, and it kind of dips down. And just before it gets to room 32135, just before it gets to that door handle where there's a cut, um, it glitches. So, and to just quickly review on, I don't even have some of it up here, on my previous video, things that I was wrong about, you know, I was wrong about, was the picture frame. I am wrong about that. That picture, and I was, you know, and that seemed to be like one of the things I was clinging to the most, and I was, but I was wrong about that. And that picture is on both. There's a picture there. Um, for both floors, 32, and, um, you know, 32, 100 hallway and 31, 100 hallway. There's a picture frame there and it just gets, it just gets, it just misses it in the particular, two particular shots. That's it's insignificant, but, and I was wrong about, I was wrong about, um, put myself down. I was wrong about this, that when you get closer to it, you can actually see the piece of the door, this portion of the door that's missing, you know. That supposedly, you know, where it got blown off because of the breach and it's still hanging here on the hinges, that's still there. But, but, okay, and you can see it. You can see it when you when you finally get, get it at the right angle. But this door here, this door, and this, this whole thing is, is not, this door is 31, 135. This is... 31, 135. It is. Okay. And um, uh, while I'm at it, you can clearly see that door is one door in one piece, in one full piece. It is not in two pieces because it wasn't cut here above 
the deadbolt like the, the like the door on 32 135. This one wasn't cut above the deadbolt here and up here and up here and this way. This one was cut this way, straight up and down, and like here and here, to make it look like the door that was cut up on 32, 135, but this is 31, 135, this door, because they're in one, 31, 135 here. It's made to look like it, but it's not, it's not, two, it's not in two pieces, okay? You know, it's, a one, it's in one full piece, and it's hanging by this and all that. So, um, yeah, and I am all over the place, but, you know, it just, uh, it just is what it is, man. So what was going on here? You know, I'll tell you, I think, I think that one of the big things is that I am absolutely correct about This door, this is 32, 32, 135. I'm correct about this door being cut above this deadbolt and over this way and up and down and, and over this way and over this way. And those two pieces of doors are put together for this photo. I'm absolutely correct about that. And I'm also correct about this is a cut. It's not a wire. It's a cut. And in this video, this is 32, no, stop, 31, this is 31, this is the fake breach, maybe the second, it's the second free, this is 31, 134, there's no wire here, okay, there's no wire, because it's not a wire, because it's a cut up on 32, 134, 32, 32, 31, 134 is cut. And this is 31, 134, and there's no wire there because it's not a wire up on the floor above it. It's a cut, and there's just no wire. And you can see the wire, you know, hold on. You can see the wire in on the table. I, I got the wrong photo up there, I think. Now you can see it here. There's the wire. It's not here because there is the, this is, <coughs> this is down on the floor beneath the actual floor of the crime scene. But there's no wire here. Because the, the one up above it is not a wire, it's cut. <coughs> the problem, where I was wrong about how these doors were cut is <clears throat> where I was incorrect, is that I said that this door was cut from the outside and then he went in above it and, uh, you know, because he didn't want to show up on the lock report. That part's true. He didn't want to show up on the lock report. That's key to both cuts. Um, in that he went in above it, you know, went above the top half and then, uh, and then came out this door because, um, because he didn't want to be seen and he put the door back in place. You know, so that anybody looking down the hallway wouldn't see that this door had been cut open and then and he was in there getting rid of, the, you know, any evidence that for some reason implicated a lot of people in, in a drugs running scheme, drug running, smuggling organization, whatever. This is all about drugs and money. And uh, so I was, uh, I'll get to the big scheme of things. It, I was wrong about that. I, I, was, I wasn't wrong if they were cut. But I was wrong about him cutting it from the outside. This door and this door were both cut from the inside. And uh, for the same reason, so that the, so the, it wouldn't show up on the lock reports. And, uh, you know, so then they could basically do everything they needed to do to cover up the crime. And, um, you know, without and bring everything in, uh, in, in these doors and it had, they only had a limited amount of time. They needed both entries. They had, you know, met multiple, many people, my, in my opinion, um, in this, in, in doing this. 
setting up this whole... They, they actually did uh, a fair amount of setting up this room. It's so crazy, man. But it's, 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 I'm pretty sure this is what's going on. So, imagine this. Imagine, it, it's a drug running organization. It's a drug running operation. And it, it goes on in that hotel. And it is the Saudis, I believe, are the suppliers on the floors above. And the routine was the paddock would come in with tons and tons of bags, you know, and then, um, and then. The, the, the Saudis would bring the drugs down from the floors up above, you know, the four fl floors up above, and, and load his bags with the drugs, and then he would take the bags back out of the hotel. And he lived there, you know, for periods of time. He lived there, like, you know, like a person in an apartment. So bringing in tons of bags, like you're bringing in stuff to unpack and stay there for months at a time is a routine, is, not, is, a, is a normal thing. That's why the hotel staff is not at all – doesn't find it at all unusual that he's bringing up tons of bags at that time. All right, so, but imagine he does that. Imagine he does that, and this is this is um, just another one of those. And in fact, it's actually a very special one of those, one of those uh, uh, operations. They didn't do this all the time, you know. They did it. I don't know how often, but they were big a big deal to do this, you know. It's a big cr crime. But this was this was the biggest of all because basically because of the election. And it, and because of the election, they weren't going to be able to do this anymore, all right? And um, you know, because Trump won. And um and that's just was going to change everything. So, but imagine imagine he does it normally. The normally the way he normally would, okay? Brings up all his bags. And, um, you know, it's just a, nor a, num a normal um, drug transaction, but this time the very biggest of all, you know, with tons of drugs and tons of money. And I don't have any idea how much, but I'm talking huge, okay? But it's the last one for a while, or the last one in this operation. So, but, but imagine he does that, and somebody wants to rip him off. And somebody wants to rip him off and basically take everything. Take the drugs, take the money. You know, and, and basically does that. But if they, if they, if it goes exactly the way I just described, he brings up a bunch of bags that are more or less empty or got closed them or just have, you know, whatever. They're empty. Part, they have, there's something to make them heavy. I don't know. Who cares? But, and then, and then, and then, but there's, and then, um, and there's money, tons of money. Um, and, uh, and the money and drugs are stolen. And he's uh, killed. And that's the end of the crime. That crime, that, that will not end there. Okay? It will not, it, if that crime, there, it will have to be solved. That, that, that'll, that'll never just stand the way it is. Okay? So, I mean, basically, and this is where it gets to be so cold-blooded. But in the scheme of things... I mean, basically, with that 2018 figure, and I didn't even, I don't have it up here. I'm not going to bother. Um, that 2018 figure of 70,000 plus people dying from overdoses from fentanyl, fen, fentanyl, opioid related drugs in 2018 versus it was 30,000 or something in 2017, which was massive already. But 70,000, it's over a 100% increase in, in, the, in the next year. Following, following, um, following October first, two thousand seventeen. In the scheme of things, the you know another fifty eight deaths is to seventy thousand is is and obviously and I mean absolutely zero disrespect to anybody to all of them, every single one of them you know of the seventy thousand the fifty eight, but the fifty eight. Um, the 58 is nothing compared, you know, in the, in the relative scheme of another 70,000 that would die the, the, the next year from the drugs that basically flooded the market. Because they were, you know, I mean, they were dumped more or less for probably very, very discounted, you know, just to get, because uh, they were stolen and they wanted to get rid of them, you know, quick or, and I don't know how that, how, you know, but believe me. And they just flood the market and, and, and uh, until they're all, 
basically gone. And it's not like that all drugs are coming from this one place, but that was a that that's that's was a huge contributor to that seventy thousand. But back to what I was saying, you know, that if it, if if it was just ripping them off, ripping them off with the drugs in the uh um in the in the money, and you just leave him in there dead, that has to be solved. Okay. So you have to come up with a way to, you know, basically create another crime that becomes the alibi. You know, it's interesting that I was talking about, you know, uh, basic instinct and, and how she wrote a novel, you know, about a woman who stabs her, her rock star lover in bed with an ice pick and then later um, actually commits that exact same crime. Five years later, and that novel would serve as her alibi because why in God's name would she commit the exact same crime that she wrote about in her novel? And that was that was the alibi. But, you know, it's, it's interesting that I'm talking about. That's not exactly the concept here. But the concept here is all about an alibi to basically have somebody solve another crime that had nothing to do with the real crime which was basically a gigantic, massive heist of drugs and money. So, um, so basically, you know, I don't know, I don't know the schematics exactly of who was all in that room, how many people were in that room, um, you know, but before before you know that did this that did the shooting um I, I i you can't imagine how many times i've seen these comments and i i absolutely was so annoyed by people saying that uh, paddock was a patsy paddock was a patsy it was the number one comment that i dis, 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 dis disregarded and and completely paid absolutely no attention to <sighs> but he was man he actually was and um he he wasn't the shooting came from this room. It came from 32, 135, and 32, 134. And most of it came from 32, 135, you know, killing the people in Route 91. But, um, and the other things are all just, you know, shooting at the tanks. They're all, again, about just creating this, this fake crime to cover up for the real crime of this gigantic heist stealing drugs and money from a giant drug smuggling operation and making it look like Paddock was a, you know, a madman, something terrorist, but he's not the one who did the shooting. I don't think I actually believe that now. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, the hard drive had all that, all this stuff on there. Somebody has that hard drive. One person that one, my, my guess would be, and I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just one person that did the shooting. My guess would be yes, but I don't know for a fact. You know, but I, I would say I would guess that the person who did the shooting has that hard drive, and that's you know that's the only thing. Um, yeah, that was that's. And after that, I mean, I, you know, basically after uh, you know they cut open this door. Um, and this in this door, and after the crime was done, and I don't know if it was done before he was doing the shooting, after he was doing the shooting, you know. I, I would say. I would say after, you know, I would say, you know, I mean, that it's him in there. It's impossible for me to work this out. I didn't do the crime, you know. I'm not in there, all right. The people who are in there, they know. And the people on YouTube who are part of this, who are, who are you know, part of you know, drug dealers and drug addicts and all of it. And I don't want to get into it. It's not like they know too, or some of them, you know. But, you know, all basically after... After somebody killed Paddock, and um, and and did the and did and did and killed all killed all those people in Route 91, you know, cr crashed open those windows. All that I think all that all that stuff in, came in after, you know, the cameras. All it's, this is set up to make it look like because it's amateurish. Just make it look like it's Paddock, to make it look like there was a different crime. Then the other, I mean, the other crime that was actually going on, which was stealing drugs and money. I mean, this is, and this is, this is, 
Similar to the basic instinct thing, man, because a lot of people were sort of claiming that it was drug run, a, a, a gun running operation. It wasn't a gun running operation. It was drugs and money. They brought in those guns afterwards. Those guns weren't in those bags. But, you know, like I said, if, if, if they don't bring in all those guns and they just steal the money and drugs, that crime has to be solved. You know, it, that's... That is how it worked. These doors were cut from the inside, both of them, and they basically loaded up that room after the fact. Paddock didn't do the shooting. Somebody else was kill shooting down on those people. I don't know if it's exactly one person or multiple people. You know, and there's probably multiple people shooting out the, you know, to, in different, probably, and set up that room. But the reason they had to do, and the reason they had to do this fake breach down on 135, uh, 131 on the 31st floor is because, because those doors are cut and, and you can't breach and they'll show up just like it does here in this one picture. You know, this, this is, this is, this is, this is cut and this, this door is cut. That is cut, man, right there. There is just absolutely no doubt about it. All right. This is cut too, and it's cut at an angle because of the way the person, you know, drilled a hole and then and then cut at it, standing above it, cutting down, you know. But it's at cut at an angle, not just this way, but this way too, so it, sh it exposes some of the particle wood. That is not exploded. That is cut. And the other door, this one, which is different. This is the actual door of 31, 31. 135 is cut very similar to make it look like the same cuts up on 32 135 but it's not cut in the middle and it's not cut here and it's not in two pieces you know so when people <laughs> debunk what i'm saying yeah they know what to debunk because they know what happened they know where I'm wrong, and they know to go right at the one thing, the things that I'm wrong about, and show you why I'm wrong, because they know. But the things that I'm right about, they don't talk about them, because I'm right about them. I'm not going to keep going on and on. I'm not. I mean, there's some things I'm not fully sure about, but believe me, anything... Most of this I'm sure most of this I'm sure about. You know, and you could start, I mean, were there actually people firing weapons in other locations to basically confuse the hell out of everybody because this is just a massive, massive conspiracy, a massive heist? It's very possible. How did the searches get on the computer from previous states? Why was why was why was the money wired to the Philippines the hundred thousand? I can work that out, dude. I can. You know, it's hilarious, man, that all these theories, various versions of them are out there. But as soon as somebody who's not a part of it is presenting it, then it becomes absurd. That's it. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below and I will see you in the next video. No singing for this video. Later, man.